Hi, this is Shamin here. Today I'm going to talk about control of heartbeat. So if you're interested, please continue watching. So the muscle of which the heart is made is called cardiac muscle. So it's made of interconnecting cells, interconnecting cells. You must remember that. What kind of cells they are? Interconnecting cells. And whose cell surface membranes are very tightly joined together. So your heart is here, it's very tightly joined together and it's pumping all the time. So these close contact between the muscle cells allow waves of in, uh, electrical, electrical excitation to pass easily between them and which is a very important feature of cardiac muscles. So what kind of muscles? Cardiac muscles. So cardiac muscles differs uh, from the muscles in all the other areas of the body uh, in that it's myogenic. So it's myogenic and this means that it's naturally contract and relax and doesn't need to receive impulse from a nerve to make it contact contract and each cardiac cycles begin in the right atrium and there is a small patch of muscle tissue in the right atrium right atrium wall and called the synatrial node synatrial node that is s a n so it doesn't need to nerve impulse to start it off so it's said myogenic, all right, myogenic, you must remember that myogenic, it doesn't need to nerve impulse to start it off. So as the muscles in the assay and contract and it produces an electrical excitation wave, so electrical excitation wave, which sweeps through all of the all of the muscles in the atria of the heart. So this excitation wave makes the muscles in the atria wall contract, and the excitation wave sweeps onwards and reaches another patch of cells called atrioventricular node. Atrioventricular node that is uh, that is the AVN. Electrical impulse can get down to the ventricles. Ventricles, you must remember that the atrioventricular node delays. The atrioventricular nodes delay the impulse for a fraction of a second and before it travels down into the ventricle so that the ventricle receive the signal to contact after the atria receive the signals. So that means the ventricles receive, they, they receive the signal. So here is your heart. So it's received the signal to contact after the atria received the signal. All right, so the excitation wave may moves swiftly down through the septum of the heart along fibers known as Perkins tissue. Perkins tissue, you must remember that. So once the excitation wave arrives at the base of the ventricles, it sweeps upward and through the ventricle walls, all right? So the ventricles then relax. Then what happens? So uh, then the muscles in the assay and contract again and the whole sequence runs through once more. And SAN, that is the cardiac cycle, is in a, initiated in a specialized patch of muscle in the wall of the right atrium. So it's often called the SAN for the short, uh, you can say pacemaker, all right? So their natural, natural rhythm of, uh, of the, of the uh, contraction. So they are need their natural rhythm, their natural rhythms of contraction is slightly faster and then that of the rest of the heart muscle. So the muscles of the ventricles do not contract until after the muscles of the atria and delays the excitation wave in each passes from the atria to the ventricles. So there's a band of fibers between the atria and ventricles which doesn't conduct, uh, conduct the excitation wave. So it spreads out from the SAN over the atrial walls and it cannot pass into the ventricles walls and the only route through is via a patch of conducting fibers. So guys, I hope that's all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friend. If you need more class, 
go to my website www.educatorshamin.simplesat.com that's all thank you very much